Have you heard of the terms cosmonauts and astronauts and are not sure how they differ? I don't blame you. I thought the same thing. So I decided to do some research to find out what these words mean, why and when they are used. So what is the difference between a cosmonaut and an astronaut? The difference between cosmonauts and astronauts is a matter of definition and symbolism. Cosmonauts are people who have been trained by the Russian Space Agency, whereas astronauts are people who have been trained by American space agencies, for example, NASA or JAXA. So, from a purely astronomical perspective, there is very little between them. Both cosmonauts and astronauts venture into and explore space. But there is a reason why these two different terms developed. Let's now look at why. Cosmonauts and astronauts are not the same thing. While they may both explore space, their training, spacesuit and equipment used on missions are very different. Besides, they are selected and educated from two very different space agencies. So for cosmonauts, it's the Russian space agency Roscosmos, and for astronauts, it's the United States space agencies, including NASA, ESA, CSA, or JAXA. And if you're into your history or wondering what, why this differentiation even arose to begin with, well, we need to look back a few decades. This separation and distinction were born in the space race of the 1980s. And it was during this time that both the American and Russian governments were pouring significant resources into getting to the moon first. It was a means of political warfare. Who was superior? Who had the technological advancement to pull it off? As such, the space agencies of such nations operated on entirely different philosophies. They developed their own skill sets, technologies, competencies and knowledge. And the terms developed in reference to these. America and Russia both wanted to differentiate their space people. They wanted to assign these honorary names to their space explorers. Fair enough. And they needed to be able to do so, just in case they managed to get to the moon first. And the media were keen to contribute to this too. That's why if you look at old newspaper cuttings, you will see cosmonauts whenever the Soviet space program or space explorers were referenced. And it's never gone away. So now we know the main differences, what do the terms actually mean? Where do they even come from? Well, both terms come from ancient Greek and they both have a lot to do with astronomy. As you can see, they are both succeeded by the term nought. This simply means sailor. So cosmonaut with cosmo, which is short for the cosmos, or in other words, the universe. So you have a universe sailor or sailor of the universe. Astronaut with astro, which means stars, Again, you have a star sailor or sailor of the stars. So looking at the terms and what the terms specifically reference, there is not much of a difference here, at least semantically. Emanating from different space agencies, it's only logical that they have their own selection criteria and requirements. Either way, becoming a space explorer requires a lot of challenge and training and dedication. Both cosmonauts and astronauts dedicate not only their entire careers, but their entire lives to the cause. There is a lot of risks involved, and it's a relatively lonely, perilous adventure too. The requirements that follow are therefore, in many ways, are in reflection of this. The requirements to become a cosmonaut are as follows. An individual must be a Russian citizen. They must speak Russian and English fluently. They cannot be any older than 35 years of age. Their height must be between 1.5 metres to 1.9 metres and 0.8 metres to 0.99 metres when seated. Their weight has to be between 50 kilograms to 95 kilograms. Good health is required with no serious chronic health conditions. They must have at least five years of work experience in the relevant field of study, such as engineering, scientific or flight specialities. Now, Roscosmos favours candidates who have experience in the space rockets or aircraft building industry, have psychological strengths such as stable temperament, they are intellectually creative, have a sound memory, the ability to self-study, they're social and can interpersonally cooperate and connect, and both men and women are eligible to become cosmonauts. So what are the requirements to become an astronaut? 
Well, an individual must be a US citizen. They must possess a master's degree in a STEM field, including engineering, biological science, physical science, computer science, or mathematics, all from an accredited institution. They must have at least two years of related professional experience obtained after degree completion, or at least 1,000 hours pilot in command time on a jet aircraft. They must be able to pass the NASA long duration flight astro astronaut physical. And the master's degree requirement can also be met by two years or 36 semester hours or 54 quarter hours of work toward a doctoral program in a related science, technology, engineering or math field a completed Doctor of Medicine or Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree and they must have completed or be currently enrolled in a nationally recognised test pilot school programme. Astronaut candidates must also have skills in leadership, teamwork and communications. Just a quick note, those astronaut requirements have been directly taken from NASA. Despite being established in the Cold War era and of space war competition, the terms cosmonaut and astronauts are still widely used today. They are primarily used out of respect. While on a basic level, a cosmonaut is somebody who pilots a Russian spacecraft and an astronaut an American spacecraft, this is not always the case. In more recent years, both cosmonauts and astronauts have been deployed on the spacecraft of their former rivalries space agencies. And when they have done so, they have still taken their nationalistic term. It all comes back to the basic training. Those selected and trained by the Russian, Russian Space Agency are typically perceived as cos cosmonauts and those selected and trained by the American Space Agencies are typically perceived as astronauts. The distinction firmly still exists. And it all ties back to the prestige of the respective space agencies. For those who decide not to continue with these terms, well, this is a matter of political distancing. Cosmonauts and astronauts are very different while being all but the same. These are terms fueled by history, political rivalry and competition, but they are also terms that symbolize a set of processes and practices for space exploration. Just remember, cosmonaut is Russian, astronaut is American. You can't really go wrong from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue recording videos like this and do consider subscribing to my channel. If you head over to my channel, I've got plenty of other videos on astronomy, which you may want to check out. And if you hit the bell icon, then you'll be notified of when I release new videos just like this.